Hi students, in the video we will see the analog multiplier. So what is analog multiplier? So analog multiplier is output voltage directly proportional to product of two or more independent input voltages. So if you look at the symbol, you can clear the analog multiplier. So here we are using two input voltages that is V1 and V2. So what is the output? Output voltage is directly proportional to directly proportional to product of two independent voltages input voltages appa product na nama v1 into vt output voltage vandu directly proportional idu dhaan vandu pathinga na analog multiplier so nama normally in the directly proportional to we are giving one proportionality constant that is k into v1 v2 okay what is k k ingradu pathinga na that is Inversely proportional to the reference voltage that is V reference. The K ingrid vadnu pathinga na inversely proportional to V reference. That means in the reference voltage if 1 by 10 means what is the output voltage? Output voltage V0 is equal to 1 by 10 means another. Namak 0.1 into V1 into V2. So, this is the analog multiplier. Very simple. Analog multiplier na where on a output voltage or current. Okay, output voltage or current on the proportional to the product of two input voltages. Proportional to the product of two or more independent input voltages or Current. So this is called analog multiplier. So in the analog multiplier, there are applications like use panwanga that is radar system, communication system, or industrial control. So that the real time response when we record our call, the analog multiplier use panwanga. Okay, so here V plus and V minus that is this V plus and V minus is the power supply. X and Y are the input terminals. Out is the output terminal. So output terminal what is the output voltage? Output voltage V0 on the pathingena that is equal to 0.1 V1 into V2. The pathingena theory output voltage when K into V1 by V2. So here K when the 1 by V reference that is proportionality constant. K or the V reference or the voltage 10 means that is V. Output or what is the output voltage? V0 is equal to 0.1 into V1 into V2. So, this is the analog multiplier. So, in the analog multiplier, we have various modes of operations. So, in the various modes of operations, we have to depend on the input voltage. Correct, V1 input voltage, V2 input voltage. The V1 and V2 order polarity, positive or negative, in the polarity depend on the multiplier. The various modes of operations, we have to classify. Depending upon the polarity of the input signal, we use independent input signal and the input signal load polarity depend on the multipliers are classified as first classification in line pathing in a one quadrant multiplier so one quadrant multiplier now are on a credit that is v1 and v2 both are positive so random a one the positive directions layer so here this is positive v1 this is positive v2 so this is up another negative v1 either on the pathing and a negative v2 so if on the pathing and a both the inputs are positive abdina namaki yenga positive side la matun na irukko okay so this is one quadrant one quadrant multiplier na namak output on the one side other the positive side matun na irukko so this is the positive both inputs are positive next one the pathing and a two quadrant multiplier two quadrant multiplier na one na kade yadu one input on the other the v1 ipa one the one like a pathing and a positive arukko b2 one the positive and negative line na go na swing na go positive and negative line na go na swing na go okay yeah so two quadrant na varo na kade yadu v1 other the one input is held positive and other is allowed to swing in both positive and negative apdi pathing na one input one the pathing positive both the inputs are positive now one quadrant and other input on the pathing in a positive and negative line are going to swing so this is the swing okay 
So this is the second. So it is the two quadrant. So one input is positive, other input is positive. Allow it to swing both positive and negative. So next one is the four quadrant multiplier. Four quadrant multiplier is not the same. Both the inputs, that is V1 and V2. Rend me when the path is in a positive and negative direction. Let's go on a swing. So rend me positive and negative. We have to go in the middle of the direction. Let's go on. This is the inputs on the swing. Okay. So here this is first quadrant. So here one quadrant on the end of the positive and negative swing. That is the same. V2 and positive and negative will swing. So this is 4 quadrant multiplier. So that is the modes of operation. Modes of operation depends upon the polarity of the input voltages. Okay. Next we will see the performance parameter. So first performance parameter is accuracy. That is maximum deviation of the actual output level from the ideal output. Namloda deviation, that is actual output deviation in the abding the ideal output deviation or output deviation the one in pathing in accuracy. Accuracy na namakatario. Okay, that is the deviation from actual output level from the ideal output. Output. So, இதை வந்து நாம் என்னும் சொல்லானா, total errorன் சொல்லாம். So, second one பார்த்தீங்கள் linearity. So, linearity நான்னா, it is the maximum output deviation of the best fit straight line at the output. Okay. So, maximum output deviation of the best fit straight line at the output. Output. Then, third one is bandwidth. So, bandwidth நான் நாம் எல்லார்மே சொல்லிருவோம். That is range up to frequency. Where output வந்து பத்திங்க நான் 3 dB below its low frequency. கரக்டா 3 dB below its low frequency. இதத்தான் நாம் என்னின் சொல்லுவோம் bandwidth நின் சொல்லுவோம். Next வந்து பத்திங்க நான் 1% absolute error bandwidth. So 1% absolute error bandwidth நான் என்ன it represent the frequency where the magnitude starts to deviate from its low frequency value by 1%. நம்மலோட output magnitude அனலாகுட output magnitude வந்து start ஆகிற எடத்தில் இருந்து 1% வந்து எங்க deviate ஆகுதோ அதத்தாம் வந்து என்னின் சொல்ரும் நான் 1% absolute error bandwidth நின் சொல்ரும் so next வந்து பார்த்தீங்க நான் feed through voltage so feed through voltage நான் வேறும் நான் கடையாது it is the peak to peak voltage at the output when one of the input is grounded நமக்கு ரெண்டு input இருக்கு V1, V2 two input use பண்டும் any one of the input நம் என்ன பண்டும் நான் ground பண்டும் ground பண்ணிட்டு நம்மலோட output voltage வந்து peak to peak voltage வந்து எடுக்கிறுதான் என்னன feed through voltage வேறும்னம் கடையாது it is the peak to peak voltage in the peak to peak voltage output ஓட peak to peak voltage நம் எப்படி எடுக்கிறும் நான் any one of the input வந்து grounded அது வந்து feed through. Then zero trim. Zero trim நான் வேறும்னம் கடையாது. நம்ம வந்து outputுக்கு வந்து இப்பு என்ன பண்டும். என்ன ஒன் அப்த்த input வந்து zero நு feed பண்ணி குடுக்குரோமாம். Next வந்து zero trim. That is the ability of the multiplier to set the feed through voltage at the output to zero. நம்ம குடுக்குர feed through voltage இருக்கில்ல. அந்த feed through voltage நால் output வந்து zero ஆகிற மாதிரி set பண்டுரதா என்ன பாத்திங்க நாம் zero trim. Next one பார்த்தீங்க நான் scale factor. So scale factor நான் வேறு ஒன்ன கடையாது that is k. k நான் என்னது? What is k? That is v0 is equal to k into v1 v2. அப்பு what is k? k equal to v0 divided by v1 and v2. அப்பு the proportionality constant k வந்து பார்த்தீங்க நாம் that is the ratio of output voltage and the product of input voltages. That is the scale factor. Then next one quadrant. So quadrant नम्मा पातों that is the mode of operation. So that is depends upon the input voltages. Input voltage जा depend मनी था नमक quadrant बंदे नाग दे नमक करेक्ट दे. So next वंदे पातिंगे ना multiplier techniques. So multiplier techniques वंदे नारे ये अर्थला multipliers नम्मा वंदे various techniques ला वंदे multiplier techniques use पन रों. So here logarithmic multiplier Pulse Width Height Modulation Multiplier, Variable Transconductance Technique, Multiplication Using Gilbert Cell, Symbol Multiplier Using an Emitter Coupled Transistor. These are the multiplier techniques that is used in various techniques. So, in the video, you will be able to subscribe to our channel.
థ్యాంక్ యూ